Hello everybody, you're here with me on the Chef's Food Tour. I'm Chef Enoch, Singaporean chef who's been living in Bangkok, Thailand for the last five years. Thailand is a beautiful place where I call home, full of rich culture, great people and delicious food. Here on the Chef's Food Tour, I'll bring you to restaurants that you've never seen before through the eyes of a chef. And the first restaurant that I'm taking you on a tour. So now we're here at Central World and we're going up to the third floor. The restaurant is called Fat Chicken by Chef Enoch. Let's go. We're now here at Fat Chicken and this is a restaurant that I personally co-founded during COVID because at that time I was homesick but we couldn't fly because of the COVID situation and then I was missing all the dishes from home. Eye of the chicken is actually the moon, which is uh, one moon and there's five stars. So there's a crescent moon, which is the eye, and then on the tail of the chicken, you have five stars, which represent the Singapore flag. The colour theme is basically red and white, which is the colour of the Singapore flag. I decided to share my culture, and most importantly, Thai local people love it. star dish of fat chicken is chicken rice. For chicken rice, we have two different types. We have the poached chicken, more popular version. And then of course, we also have the fried chicken because who doesn't love fried food, right? The speciality of Singapore chicken rice is that when you eat into the breast, it's not tough, it's not chewy. It's still juicy and it's soft. The technique of poaching the chicken is traditional sous vide. We cook it under high temperature for half of the time and then another half of the time, we'll just off the flame and let it poach or simmer in the warm liquid before putting it into ice water. And then the fried chicken, we do it very similar to like the Korean fried chicken style where we bread it twice and then we fry it twice as well. So first time to cook it and the second time to make it extra crispy. The rice is uh, cooked with chicken fat, ginger, pandan leaves and aromatics. And you look at the rice, the rice has to be drained. It has to be grainy, it has, cannot be mushy, it cannot be overcooked, it has to be cooked perfectly like this. Over here at Fat Chicken, it's a bit different from chicken rice in Singapore because just two of the dipping sauces, usually we have the chilli, the red chilli dipping sauce with uh, lime and ginger. And then we have the ginger sauce, which is the non-spicy version. But here, we also have the Thai dipping sauce, or they call Khao Men Kai. There's a dipping sauce which has like um, tamarind and uh, they call Tao Jiao. Tao Jiao is a fermented soybean. So we have all the three different di dipping sauces. Let's try the first. So this one, red chilli but it's not too spicy. Sourness from lime juice, hint of ginger at the end, which is my personal favourite sauce. Let's take a look at this. It has to be crispy. With the sauce, the flavour is just sweet and savoury at the same time. Singapore, we always have this dark soya sauce, which is sort of like a caramel, which we put it over the rice before eating. Mm. Perfect combination. Most Thai people, when you talk about Singaporean dishes, three dishes come to their mind. It's always chicken rice, bakute, and chili crab. So today we'll be tasting all three of them. But now on to the second one, bakute. It's that I personally I prefer the Hokkien version myself. If you look at the soup over here, it's not dark. We don't put dark, dark soy sauce either. So still infused with some herbs. Yeah, perfect. It's not just soup, it actually also has tofu puff, fried tofu. Of course, you can't have bakute without pork ribs. And then we have other stuff like the pig stomach, which we actually wash and then we braise it till it's tender. And also, for those who come to visit and have the bakute, this is always an option. You can dip the pork ribs into this. This is actually a normal routine of doing QC for my own outlets. So it's tasting everything. Okay. Pass. On to the third dish. The most iconic for Singapore food. So I, I, I want to make everything easier to eat. So I'm not using the whole crab, but I'm just using the crab jumbo lamb meat together with the chili crab sauce. And of course, chili crab sauce is never complete without some nice homemade fried mantou. Look at that. Crispy on the outside and just nice, soft and moist on the, in on the inside. Dip the mantou into the sauce. Like this. Manho or and some crab meat is just perfect. So this is actually what we call uh, tofu. 
what I decided to do is I want to add Thai signature ingredient which is most popular in Thailand which is river prawn Thiaban tofu is actually tofu, soft tofu it's stir-fried in a wok together with um, minced pork and then that's, we make a sauce like an oyster sauce and it always has to be served on the hot plate before we serve it on the hot plate what we always do is we have to crack an egg onto the hot plate so the egg cooks into like a sort of like an omelette kind of texture Moving on, another dish that this is homemade egg tofu with spinach and the sauce is a shimeji mushroom sauce so it gives like different textures, crispiness from the tofu and then you have like some shimeji mushroom like it's a chewy kind of a springy texture mm. Last but not least, this is probably the most popular turnip pick, homemade turnip pick We use a lot of turnip and less flour I'm gonna show you you can see all the strands of, you know, the radish. So it's not too firm. A lot of versions are, in my opinion, are, are very firm. So when you bite into it, it's always like, it's just chewy and chewy and chewy. But for this, you have the chewiness of the rice flour. But at the same time, you will be met with like, the strands of turnip, which gives you like, the softness because the steamed turnip has a, has a soft kind of texture. And then it's topped with an XO sauce that is done in-house. So it gives it a bit of spiciness and some more seafood flavor. Mm. No wonder it's a favourite. For Fat Chicken, I'm very happy and very proud that we are now expanding already to our third outlet. Our first outlet was at the Mall Ngamong One, the second at Central World, and now we are going to True Digital Park in Sukhumvit 101. On a chef's food tour, we are not only bringing you to restaurants, but the next place that we are going is a private dining space in Sukhumvit 31 where you can book your favourite chefs or you can have me cook for you. And this is Counterculture on Sukhumvit 31 where chefs can host their guests of 10 per seating. The speciality about this place is a really um, intimate place because you have a counter and the seats are here so you can see every process of how your food is being made all the way from the cooking to the plating and it's being served right in front of you. If you have any chefs you have in mind, whether celebrity chefs or any chefs that you want to have a private dining experience over here, let me know in the comments below and I'll hook you up. And if you'd like to come with me on a food tour around restaurants in Thailand, please subscribe to my channel and I'll take you there. Let's go.